Hi, welcome back to C Programming. I'm your Dr. Vasu. Here you can find other interesting subjects as well along with the C Programming. Do subscribe the channel and get alerts. Sharing all these programs in the Google Drive and you can find the link in the description. Okay. Now let's see what these uh, editions are and uh, how to perform using pointers. Now, let's take an example. We have taken uh, three variables, x, y, z, and two pointers. And here, x and y are assigned with some values, 100 and 200, right? Address of x is assigned to p1, pointer p1, and uh, address of y is assigned to pointer p2. Now, we are going to perform the addition of these two values, actually x and y, because this star p1 is nothing but the value of x. Because this pointer p1 refers to the value here, right, p1, that is the value of x. And star p2 refers to the value of y. Now, instead of giving a z is equal to x plus y, we are mentioning the values indirectly, right? Now, let us see how this uh, will be performed. But here you have to be, we, one has to be very careful in adding, in addition, doing addition. P1 plus P2 means, actually, if you want to add a z is equal to P1 plus P2, what happens is, you are taking the address. Address is a, a big number. And uh, adding these two addresses will give you a junk, right? A very big number and it's not nowhere related to our addition. So that's why just uh, it is kept as a comment and uh, we should not um, do such mistakes. So we can perform only on the values, not on the addresses. Now, I want to print the value of x and y and z, okay? Now, let us see how it will be. If you take the, uh, the actually what is happening is the value of x is 100 and it's this is its address and uh, ampersand x, of course, it is address. P1 is the pointer here and star P1 gives you the value which is directed by this address. So here it is the value P1, star P1 is 100. You take y here. And this is the address and the star P2 here. P2 is the pointer and star P2 gives you this value here 200. That means when you are performing star P1, star P2, this 100 plus 200, 300. That becomes 300 and Z value will become 300 here. So this is Z. And of course, it's, it, has some, it will have some address and we are not interested in that. So here, let us see what happens. Let us see the value of x, y, and z, how they are. Compile and execute, you get this. So indirectly, we are able to perform the addition using the pointers, right? okay? So here the z value has clearly obtained here 100 plus 200, that is 300. So this is a way of doing the additions. Next, let's take another example. Two variables x and y are taken and the two pointers are declared here, p1 and p2. Address of x is assigned to p1. Address of y is assigned to p2. Now let's display x, y, p1, p2 values. Okay, let's compile this and perform this. If you see this, the values initially given are x is equal to 100. And this is, of course, it's an address. This is the pointer on the address here, the value of x is here, star p1, okay, star p1 gives the value here. Also, similarly, y also, here we have 200, the value of y, or even it can be referred as star p2, because p2 is the pointer here, or the, this is the address of y. Now, compile this and uh, execute this program, you get the values like this x 100, y 200, and this is a, these are the values of x and y, the 56, 60 here, right? Now let's uh, do a small thing here. Let's uh, do some addition. I want to add 10 
to star P1. Star P1 is nothing but the value of X. So star P1 is 100. I want to add a 10 here to this 100. And we want to put it in the star P1 as. Now let us see how this assignment will happen. Similarly, I want to add 50 here to star P2. Star P2 is here. And to this 200, I want to add 50. So what will happen here? Let's display these values again after performing this. Before doing uh, this, we have seen the values. Now let us see how they these uh, assignment statements are going to affect the program. Now, after these additions, what happens is this star P1, that is 100, is added with the 10 here. And 110 is put in this memory location, the, the X. This is a, after doing all these additions. This is the prior scene. This is the before doing any operate this operation. This is the scenario. And it has changed to this one now. Coming to why the star P2 is, that is the 200, is added with the 50 here. And this fifth, with this 50, it has become 250 now. Let's display this. The values have changed to 110 and 250. Okay. Now, coming to this address of X and Y, absolutely there is no change at all. This is 56, 56, 60, 60. Absolutely the same addresses have, are there. We are not touching the addresses. Just we are handling only the values which are kept in these memory locations. That's all. We are not at all disturbing or doing anything with the addresses. We have to be very clear with that. Next. Let's take uh, another example. Three variables are taken. X is uh, assigned with 100 and uh, one pointer is uh, declared here. Address of X is assigned to P1. Okay. Now, the, I want to assign a value to Y indirectly. That is the P1 value, right? Pointer P1 value here plus 100. I want to add 100 to that. Similarly, I want to take this uh, pointer value, P1 value, multiply it with 50 and assign it this to Z. Let's see what happens. Let's display this X, Y, Z values. Okay. Coming to this scenario, here the value of X is this 100 initially given. Right and uh, address of this uh, yeah, address of x here. This is the pointer and this is the value or uh, in the pointer. The so star p1 here. Now, if you see this y, we have declared y also. Initially we kept it empty, but now we have added 100 here to this. How star p1 star p1 is nothing but 100. So to this 100, we have added 100. That means it has become 200. And this 200 is kept in Y. So in Y, we have kept 200. And it has some address and we are not interested in that. Similarly, coming to Z, we have taken a P star P1, that is 100, multiplied with 50, that has become 100 into 50, 5,000. This 5,000 is... Uh, assigned to Z. So the Z value is 5000 here. And it has some addresses. We are not interested in that. Let us see what happens and how these values will be. Compile and execute. You get uh, X100, Y200 and Z5000. So these are the values we get here. So this is the way of uh, uh, using the values in the pointers. So you, like this, we can perform uh, any operation using these values also. Now, let's take another example. We have taken only one variable and uh, a pointer. Address of this X is assigned to P1. Okay. Now, I want to print uh, X and P1 values. Just I want to see. It's, of course, the very basic. And uh, this is the X here variable. It has a 100 value. And this is the address. And of course, this is the pointer. And if you see the, say, 100, 100. This uh, X has 
now is uh, has a hundred and the address are shown. Now let's do some operation here. I want to add one to this address, not like the value earlier. We have handled only the values, but now here we have taken the address itself, pointer, this pointer, this address itself, and I want to add one to this. What happens? And we have added one and assign this to again P1. <clears throat> what happens is when you have taken this address and added one, it has become 104. Why? Because this is a, the another memory location. So this address is uh, uh, locate is uh, pointing to a different uh, memory location that is we are not interested in what is there inside and all. But uh, here if you observe one thing, when you add uh, 1 to this address, this 100 plus 1 should become 101. But it has become 104. Can you tell why? If you remember, this uh, already we have discussed it in the previous video. Here, this variable x carries or uh, occupies a memory of 4 bytes. So, 100 plus 100, 101, 102, 103. These four bytes of memory is allocated to this particular memory location. <clears throat> so, when you are talking about uh, 1 plus 1 to this address, it locates, it uh, directs to another address here, next address. That next address will be 104 only, can't be 101 because 100, 101, 102, 103 are occupied here itself. So this is 104, the next memory location. Next. Suppose if you print the, the value of P1 now, it will be 104 here. So it is uh, addressing to next memory location. Let's do one more operation. I want to add already the P1 value is 104. Now let's add 1 plus 1 again. And let us see what happens. Because this is a, it is assuming that it is a variable uh, occupying four bytes of memory. Two thousand uh, zero four zero five zero six zero seven are allocated for this particular memory location. And the next address will be 108. So this 108, 8, 9, 10, 11, up to this four will be allocated to this memory location. So P1 value will be, now if you want to see this, P1 will be 108. So like this, you can, when you observe the uh, addition of, uh, the additions uh, are taking place with the pointers, it happens like this. So we have to be very careful in adding in addition, whether you are doing it with the value or with the address. Okay. Now, Let's take another example. We have taken three variables, x, y, z. x is 100, y is 200, z 300. And uh, these are the values, of course, the, on x, y, z. Now, we declared uh, three pointers, <coughs> p1, p2, p3. Value of x, uh, the address of x is assigned to p1, pointer p1. This is the address of x assigned to pointer p1. Now. I'm not going to assign the address of y to p2, address of z to p3. This, these are taken as comments only. These statements are not going to be executed. Just we have taken this as comments. I'm not doing any such operation. Just for, the, for our understanding, I have written this. Now, let's print this x and p1. Okay? x, value of x, of course, 100. p1 will be address of x, that is a, a p1, this is the address of x, 40, okay. Now, if you further see what is there in this address, this is star p1, the value. Now, let's print, uh, let's compile, uh, compile and execute this program, only this particular program here up to this. Let us see the output, x value is 100, p1 is 140, the same. So this is the condition now. Now let's perform this 
location, this uh, address, addition operation to this pointer. And now I am calling this as P2. What is P2? P2 is I am assigning a value of this uh, one addition is taking place to the address here, to this pointer. And this value, I'm, that means next address location is assigned to P2. Let's see what happens. This uh, I want to see what is the P2, the value of P2 now. We know that because it is a, an integer, a small integer, it takes only four bytes of memory and it must be 44. 40 is there. Next address location will be 44 automatically. So here, let us see. So here it is. P2. I want to display P2. That is 44. Now I perform again. I want to, I want to add 1 to the P2 now. To this P2. That means I want to get next address location. Next address here. That is 1 is added. That becomes P3. Okay. I want to see what P3 is. We know that. It is because it is 44 plus 4, 48. So the next address will be 40, 48. So it is 48. So if you see this, it shows <clears throat> P3. So this is the P3. So like this, the next address, and we are not, we don't know what is happening to these uh, values, right? We have assigned these values and assuming, we are just assuming that this is the address of uh, address P2, address P3. And we, are, we haven't seen so far what is there in this value, in this address. The, what the value is there in this particular address is not known. Just we are seeing the addresses. Okay. Now, now let's uh, do that also. What happens? What is happening? Actually, I want to see what value is stored in this particular address P2, pointer P2. I want to see the value here, star P2. Star P2 means it must be, this is the star P2, it must be 200 here. So if you see the value, star P2 is 200. So in the next memory location we have identified here and the value obtained in this is 200. We are not doing any direct operation, direct assignment. We, are, we didn't say that the address of Y is this one, P2. No, we haven't mentioned but indirectly, we got it. Next, suppose we do one more operation here, right? That is uh, P2 plus 1. That is P2 plus 1. That is P3. We got P3 here. And now I want to see which value is stored in P3. That is star P3 here. What is there in the star? Star P3 must be this 300, right? Let us see. In execution, you get a star P3 as yes? 300. So like this, we can get the our next address location as well as the value in that. Okay. Hope you had understood this topic very well. And if you have any queries or any doubts, please do comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.